Welcome back from the break. You're still watching uh, Morning Rush here on Metro TV. My name is Desmond Okrekun, as you can call me, that's very this time. We're getting into a conversation uh, with uh, a lady and a gentleman seated next to me. We're talking about a foundation that's doing some amazing stuff. Um, and so let me just get straight into it. The lady, of course, is Evelyn Arthur, right? Yeah. And you are the founder. Yes, please. And the CEO. Yes. And everything, the boss. <laughs> the guacata at the top. <laughs> okay, everything. yeah, everything at E A H H F Evelyn Arthur Health Foundation. Health Foundation. Yeah. And also joining her is Abraham yes, Lamar. Boss. And what's your role? For the yes, I'm an executive member. An executive yes, member. Please. Okay. So um, you are a nurse. Yes. I'm how's nurse. how's 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 work like? You know, I hear a lot of things about nurses or we hear a lot of things some really nice stuff about nurses really and, oh yeah some nice stuff about nurses and okay. sometimes not too how's the the the, the work like you know working in the hospital four years experience let me say a very good morning to your viewers mm. and to you as well we are working as a nurse i am in a health center mm. at the adam west district and okay Work has been good. So far, so good. It's not always smooth. Mm. You know, dealing with human beings, uh, a whole lot of stuff. So mm. the core thing you, you have to get is your patients at okay. the 100% level. That is what is keeping us going. Great. And, so, and is that what uh, metamorphosed or, or, or brought the idea of the foundation that you, you began? Well, I think... Um, it became easier mm. for the foundation to come up because of my profession. Mm. But I think the foundation is something I was supposed to do in yeah. relation to purpose. And so me finding myself as a nurse is actually related to how the foundation came about. Okay. So how long has it been in, in existence, the foundation? The foundation is just a year and a half. A year and a half? Yes, please. Just okay. And how has it been and doing? So far, so good. Mm. By the grace of God. It must be really good to be able to get other people join you. Yes. And Abraham, um, what, what was the, the, the catchy thing for you about this whole uh, project or foundation that you decided to be a part of it? Oh, really, it has really helped me a lot. You know, I have an institution um, which is Ablem Educational Institute. Mm. So some time back, I think last year or so, mm. They help us with um, the screening, medical screening. Okay. Um, so my BEC uh, candidates, they were screened before they wrote the BEC. So mm. Evelyn, Atta Foundation is really helping us. Mm. It's really yeah, helping, really us. helping with that. And, and uh, I also know there's been projects from the churches to yeah. educational facilities. Tell yeah. us about it. There's yeah. one year that you have been in existence. Okay, mm. so what we do basically as um, philanthropic works, giving out donations mm. and health screening because we are a health foundation. Since we started, we've had various health screenings mm. with churches and other institutions. We've had about three of them and donations to some villages and small communities around us. The main key is for us to get a safe society um, which will get easy access to healthcare, affordable healthcare, effective healthcare to everyone, everywhere. So that is what we are all about. Mm. Our main focus is on health, okay. even though we do other philanthropic works. Yeah, and that's what I was going to come to that. What mm. are some of the things that you have seen on the field uh, during your work that you are seeking to fix or at least help with okay. your foundation? Okay. So, you know, when we come to health mm. itself, there's something we call early detection saves. Okay. A lot of the Ghanaian population are not the people who like visiting the hospital most often, mm. especially males. As and 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 you are pointing out me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like visiting health facilities mm. at all. So, so one thing Evelyn Asa Health Foundation is doing in difference is to help citizens, the Ghanaian population, get to detect certain diseases going on in their system okay. early so that they can um, take drugs, they can go for treatment and then get saved. Because um, some conditions we screen like HIV, hepatitis B, are diseases that can be in your system, won't show any signs and symptoms for a long time before you realize it has taken hold and become 
or reach to the chronic stage. Mm. So what the Lenasa Health Foundation does is with our health screening, we create self-awareness. We screen you if there is any form of these diseases within you. We refer you to the nearest health facility. And if we have some drugs with us, we give to you to start on so that the disease won't reach a chronic stage. Mm. Yeah. And how do you put yourself out that you want to help people? How do you get resources to be able to do that? Oh, <laughs> for resources. Oh, your pay is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The pay is very small. <laughs> well, but for resources, mm. as we are starting a growing foundation at a very young stage, mm. what we do is internal generation of funds for now. We generate few funds from our members and um, other good people mm. who are willing to help the community. One thing I, I, I like is about life is being relevant in someone's life. Okay. And so even if the money is small, it's not really about the money. It's about that little thing you can do in the person's life that will put a smile on the person's face. And so irrespective of our income, as we have started, things are very challenging. But the little we are able to gather mm. from good people around us and from my able members, we put them together, go out, donate to orphanage villagers who are having difficulty in assessing mm. health care. And at the end of the day, they smile. And that is what makes life meaningful. Yeah, at the end of the day, they smile. That's yeah. why this gentleman is here with you. Yeah. And he's beaming with smiles because as an executive, you know, it should be fulfilling that you know this is happening. But how do you, because you are in the education bit, so both of you, you know, merging the bit of health and education, how do you come in there, Albert? Well, um, please, the question again, come again. Uh, I'm just because you talked about education yes, earlier, right? Yes, so I'm just um, asking if there's anything about education that you do together with the health, maybe going to the schools, you know, talking to them, something like that, that you do as part of um, the foundation. Yes, please. I play a special role mm. in terms of the education. Mm. So once in a while, we used to visit schools in the rural areas. Then okay. we educate them more about their health. Mm. And also, we try to donate a lot of um, health staff. So mm. how do you call it? You are yeah. an health specialist. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. So we try to. I think last year also, we went to a school at Udoko, SDA. Yeah. Also, mm. we donated sanitary parts and a lot of it's mosquito nets. And yes, no, those a things. whole lot. So okay. that's what we do. And once in a while, we organize a health talk for um, students Student. around my area mm. to as well. Then we we'll look at the rural areas too. Then we we'll go there and we do educate them. So basically, that is that. that that's what happens. Yes, that's, that's great. So uh, if you just join us, uh, we've got a few minutes to speak to Evelyn Arthur, the founder of Evelyn Arthur Health Foundation. Let's look at 2023. We're in April attending already. What's the plan for the rest of the year? Well, 2023, so far, so good. We mm. had our first screening of the year at Amasaman. Okay. In partnership with um, Apostles Revelation Church. They, have, mm. they had their 10th anniversary, and we went on board to do a free health screening okay. for them. Upcoming programs for 2023 is a health walk to champion our end-of-year project, which is the Health Aid 23. Mm. That is how we call it according to every year. That is the program we do for um, vulnerable communities and the less privileged. So this year we have a, um, a health work coming up in collaboration with the Abla Medicational Institute. We are championing the Never Work Alone campaign. Never are you a Liverpool fan? <laughs> <laughs> No, I am not. Maybe I will join Liverpool soon. <laughs> okay, so um, the Never Work Alone campaign is looking at um, securing orphans mm. with footwears. Okay. That is what we are doing today and um, this year. And we will be visiting the New Life of an Age home at okay. Nungwa mm. this year. So the health work is to champion the program, the program Health Age 23 to project the Never Work Alone campaign for people to get to know about it. Okay. So um, I guess that'll be all if uh, there's, uh, I mean, how could people reach out to you uh, so you could, you know, also help them? Okay. Let me use um, this opportunity to reach out to 
philanthropists in the mm. country and outside the country okay. um, who are willing to give support to foundations to reach out to the less privileged and the vulnerable. Mm. That the Evelynata Health Foundation's door is open okay. for partnership and for sponsorships mm. yeah, and other pharmaceutical institutions too because as we do the health screening we will need you some need, medicines need those. Okay. Yeah, to back up so anyone who wants to be of help to us can reach us on our social media platforms okay. instagram twitter facebook at evelynata health foundation, health foundation yes you can reach us say that Together, we can put smiles to the faces of the less privileged and the vulnerable. Okay, so make sure that you hit them up on social media, Evelynatha Health Foundation on all platforms, uh, so that you can be of help to them. Thank you very much, Evelyn and Abraham, yes, right, for coming through this morning. Wish you the very uh, best.